John Newton had a very difficult childhood. John Newton's mother passed away when he was only six years old. When his mother passed away, John Newton found himself being taken from one place to the other. In a way, he was now a slave. He was being sold into slavery at a, a very tender age. And as he grew up, part of his adult life, he was made into a slave. And that's how he grew up most of his life. So when time had moved and his childhood was, home, was, was going uh, when he was growing up going in the adulthood uh, phase, he was now moved from where he was being kept as a slave going to England. So when they were going to England, the ship that he was in, a violent uh, storm came and the ship was moved to, from left, right and center. And John Newton was so afraid that he found himself uh, humming or singing the song that we have, we have grown to love most of us, the song that has been uh, sang in different languages all over the world, the song that is many people uh, singing too when they feel like they're down and when they feel like uh, they need help in their lives. The song was now, is now very common just because John Newton at this time of moment when you felt the weakest, that's when he penned the song. The song, Amazing Grace, How Sweet the Sound. John Newton found himself humming that song, Nekuchka, when the ship was hit violently by a storm. It goes on to say, that saved a wretch like me. I was once lost, but now I am found. Was blind, but now I see. How many of us know sometimes we are involved in accidents? Sometimes we get sick to a point where you promise God, Marima can run a pano, I'll go and and be a servant and for you are going to do anything for you. But then when God has saved us in that situation, we tend to slide back to our old ways. John Newton is saying, amazing grace, how sweet the sound. That saved a wretch like me. I am a wretch, I am a sinner, I am sinful. But God found it in him to save a wretch in this sh ship like me. In this violent storm that was there, God saved a wretch like John Newton. How many of us can relate to John right now when we repent down this harmony or this song? Could I am a wretch, but God took time to save a wretch like me. I was once lost, but now I am I'm found. I was blind, but now I sin. We go out there to the blind. We go out there doing things that Christ can't even look at us twice. We go out there and we, we are being lost like the lost sheep or the lost coin. But God is, is looking for us right now. Was it was grace that taught me uh, my heart to fear. And grace that fears relieved. How precious did that grace appear the hour I first believed. Grace appeared at the time when John Newton needed it the most. How many of us have prayed the most when at a time when we wanted our loved ones to be saved? How many of us have asked God, I need to this instant, this moment. Sometimes God answers prayers differently. Sometimes God is there at the right moment, at the right time. Sometimes God can take four days to attend to your prayer. But it doesn't mean that he is not answering our prayers. He's answering in his right time. He's answering in the way that is best for us. So this time John Newton found God answering his prayer right there at that moment when his ship was sinking. He was now saying amazing grace that came at the right hour through many dangers, toils, and snares. We meet dangers in our road. We, need, we meet snares. We meet um, uh, toils in our Christian journey. But Christ or John Newton is reminding us that his grace is still sufficient for us. These messes are new each and every morning. We, it was grace that brought us safe thus far. This far, Ebenezer, the Lord has taken us this far. It's God's grace that can lead us to this far. We can wonder our kufane COVID. Our loved ones are perishing, but it's God's grace that has taken us this far. Amazing grace, how sweet the sound that saved a rage like me. I was once lost, but now I am found. Was blind, but now I am. I can see. Let's relate to John Newton's amazing grace. Let's take it deep to heart and thank God for being here at this moment. 
if you are here listening, if you are here watching me, it means God has given us his grace up to this moment. It means God has taken us this far. It's not according, it's not because but no, it is, it is grace that has taken us this far. God's amazing grace is everlasting. No one, it's only God who can tell me today you are not waking up. It's only God who has that power to end my life. So now let's thank God for today. Let's thank God that we are here in this, in this pandemic. We are still here in this hunger. We are still here in this nation. We are still here. Let's thank God for that. Because God will never leave us nor forsake us. John Newton will tell you that he felt like his world was crumbling. He felt like he was going to die that moment. But um, the God's amazing grace was with him and he didn't die. Let's, let's go and look at Psalms. Psalms 5. Psalms 5. Verse 11, it goes on to say, uh, I'll read to a re, uh, in your hearing, Psalms 5, verse 11. But let all those that put their trust in thee rejoice. All those who put their trust not in money, not in health, not in their kids, not in their wives, not in their husband, not in, their, in, in, this, in, in, in this world, but those who put their trust in in Jesus, let them let them rejoice. Let them ever shout for joy. Let us shout for joy if we know we, we have our, we have our our trust put in Jesus. Because Thou defendest them, let them also Thy love, Thy name, be joyful in Thee. God will never leave us nor forsake us. Let's not put our trust in this world, but let's put our trust in God, because His amazing grace. Will never fail us. His amazing grace is always there for us. May God bless you in this uh, moment when you're listening. May God be with you. May God meet you at your point of need. You have prayed, you have prayed, and God is about to answer your prayer. Don't give up, but let's meet God in our point of need. God is there, and His amazing grace is always there for us. <laughs>